What is up, F it Outdoors? Look at this, t-shirt weather. Can you believe it? 60 something degrees. It's Saturday the 21st. Saturday the 21st. Pre-spawn bite should be coming on. Water temperature's up. Uh, pulled in here. I don't my uncles and seen stuff taking off as soon as we pulled in. I'm gonna start off throwing uh, BD square bill that I got in the mystery tackle box this month. It's a 2.5 silver shad color on my lose speed stick combo. And I'm gonna throw this biospawn exo swim on my uh, insight rod speed spool lose speed spool reel. Both of those are 20 pound fluorocarbon. I keep getting people asking me to say that stuff in the video and not put it in the description box. And then I got my wacky setup on my Lose Xfinity uh, combo. Gino looks like he's got the old purple and black Texas rig kicking. Black and green spinnerbait on a bait caster. That should be eventful. <laughs> and uh, looks like he's tying on a super toad over there i'm gonna try to get a little frog bite going maybe so the plan is we're gonna fish here not for long unless we start catching them but we're gonna wind up out at my dad's around 6 30 five in between five and seven o'clock because that's when it's supposed to be the best bite today so uh stick with us here we go i thought for sure you'd throw that bait caster first Oh, well. Why this pile of bricks right here, dude? Well, that means the bass should be right behind them. Not on spawn wise, but just like feeding. I can't tell. I know there's about 10 of them right here by this pile of bricks. Alright, so Uncle's was a bust, like usual. Came out here, Dad. We got wind, which I'm sure the audio is going to be lovely for the rest of this video. Wind blowing the way I don't want it to blow, but it's blowing. Muddier water. But we've already seen some fish on the banks, working on the banks a little bit, so I'm pretty sure they're going to be up in the shallows. I'm going to throw some crank stuff. Um, I got the hot sauce jig with a rage crawl trailer. I got the uh, shit, I don't even remember what it's called. What the hell was that called, Gino? I'm calling it a chatterbait. It's, uh, it's, a, it's called a vibing jig. I can't remember the name. I don't know where the back is. Leave something. I don't know. I'll figure it out and put it in the caption right here. That's what it's called. And I've got a, uh, a Lucky John's chunk tail on it so got a texas rig on my other rod gino's got a texas rig and what else we got ned rig and a spinnerbait so this is supposed to be peak time we're going to give it a couple hot laps and see what happens stick with us here we go just in time for the tip spreader oh hell yeah mm -hmm. freshen it up well the wind's blowing in the direction way now. This is when you know you're farm pond fishing. When uh, Farmer Brown comes, he'll probably catch a fish right there. Comes trucking through with the tractor, spreading manure. Got him, Gino. Yep.
Crank vibing jig. Third cast. Third cast. Hit it on the fall. Yeah. I didn't even reel it. Yeah. yeah. Right Pretty much. This pond's a lot clearer than I thought. I got another one that almost looks like this. Got another one, Dino. <laughs> that ain't no little one, dude. Dino. Cranked, cranked vibing jig, smashing them. I don't know, Gino. I think they might like this one. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> That's hilarious, dude. <laughs> I waited too long, dude. <laughs> I can turn my brake off a little bit now. I ain't got the wind blowing in my face. There he is, Dino! Dude, that's a tank of a fish. Yeah. On the fall, dude. I'll tell you what, dude, these things got some pretty good hooks on. Man, she got acrobatic on me too. Under that tree he hit it and came at me this pond never disappoints dude cranked bobbin jig I think it's called Silver Star or Blue Star. Can't remember. That was the smallest one we've caught all day. I did all of a sudden. Prettiest fish I've caught all day. Right. 
Look at all these damn crawdad holes, dude. Should have threw that jig. Huh? I'm gonna catch one out from underneath this tree right here. Saved it. Oh, I missed him again, Gino. He don't feel little. I got him that time. Oh, that's a good one, dude. Oh, dude, that's the biggest one today. Heck yeah. Set, dude. <laughs> Boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> oh. Here, let me throw this out here. I should probably take a picture of that one. It's a pretty good one. his ass that time Gino that ain't no minnow either bud I know there's more than one over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. It is for me, dude. I have a hard time leaving biting fish. First time I cast out there and don't bring one back, I'm quitting, okay? First time I cast out and don't bring one back. They're hitting it out there right here. That big one I missed. I had a little loop develop. Yeah. Oh, I spit it. <laughs> does that count? No. No, does that count? Oh, that count. <laughs> so, that pretty much wraps that up. Um, basically, used the cranked, crank fishing viber jigs. We used uh, Byron's Way and Silver Glow. 
And then I had the cranked hot sauce flipping jig with a uh, Ketchco saw crawl, Texas crawl trailer. And uh, seemed like that's what it was today. I mean, Gino threw some different stuff. What all did you throw? Texas rig, uh, threw a scrounger head, uh, threw a frog, threw all kinds of shit. What you caught the most fish on that on the Viber jig? The Viber jig, yeah. Viber jig. So go check them out, man. Crank.com, crankfishing.com. Check them out on um, Instagram at crankfishing. And um, you will not be disappointed with they make quality stuff. They got very good hooks, they got excellent colors. I had the Viber jig on my Lou's Speed Spool reel with the um, inside pro advantage seven foot medium fast uh, it's actually a spinner bait slash bait worm rod that works really well with those viper jigs and then i had the hot sauce jig on my loose speed 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 stick speed spool combo man that is ripe that smells like straight shit it is shit. We I mean, just got upwind of the shit. It's spread. nothing but shit. It's not good. It's Anyways, shit. make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video. If you're already a subscriber, I appreciate you tuning back in. And um, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all at F It Outdoors. And that pretty much wraps this video up. So like always, say F it and get outdoors. Guaranteed it'll be a lot better than sitting inside doing nothing. See ya.